So hi everyone, this is me Ranjan Raja and I'm an ethical hacker and cyber security expert. Apart from this, I do multiple activities like penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, working with the forensic team, developing, designing like this. And I work for multiple company as a freelancer also. Like you might be heard about Simply Learn, Edureka, Scholar, Zoltiers, multiple company where I used to take numerous of different different certifications type like CEH, CSSP, CSM, all these kind of things. I did my master's from Punjab Technical Institutes, India, and I did master's in cyber security that time. But when I was completing this the bachelor's, I got placed in cyber crime department as an intern. And there I worked for five different years in the different different states in India. And my activities was like tracking the criminals activities, working with the forensic teams like this. And if I talk about my personal skills, as I said, like I do bug bounty, penetration testing, uh, cyber security, network security, freelancing work with multiple companies. And uh, after like working with the cyber crime department, I switched my, you can say like uh, things to uh, teaching field only. I worked with multiple universities, even after lockdown, I total freelance and instructor in this field. Even I used to give training to Indian army as well as Nepal army because we share our borders. Not a, you can say cyber security, it is a kind of cyber security awareness training program where we guide them about honeypot or how they can secure their digital life. And these are my books, which is based upon ethical hacking and cyber security. And all these books are published by like uh, Amazon, Puthi as well as other platform like Flipkart, Google Books. Even I am authorized author issued by Indian government and even Udemy also published my courses and all these courses are based upon ethical hacking course with bad operating system, ethical hacking with Termux, it is an Android based application, then Wi-Fi Slex, it is Spanish based Linux architectures operating system and the last is like a setup you can say like suppose if you are planning to give the examinations like cyber security like ch then this is for the people and all these are my media report i have lots of certifications like certified cyber security instructor certified ethical hacker cssp comptia security plus cism aws security cryptography ethical hacking essential CSCUs, multiple kind of activities dear students now Let's talk about what kind of things you are going to study in our upcoming sessions. So here, you can see we have a proper information about the things. So it will take around 25 to 30 sessions. And within this period, we will go through ethical hacking learning where it is the practice of testing a computer system or network to identify the vulnerabilities and weaknesses so that it can be fixed before malicious hackers can exploit it. And think of it like hiring a security expert to test the locks on your house to ensure they are secure. And in this chapter, you are going to study about like what is ethical hacking, who are hackers, Types of hackers, as you know, there are different types of hackers like white hat hackers, black hat, gray hat, script kiddies, hacktivist. And then advantage and disadvantage of hacking. You know, like hacking can have the both positive and negative impact. So on the positive sides, ethical hacking can help the organizations to improve their security and stay ahead of the potential threat. And on the negative side, Hacking can be used for malicious purposes such as stealing sensitive information or disrupting the critical infrastructures. Now, the next chapter 
is about introductions to cyber security now the cyber security refers to the practices and technologies which is designed to protect the digital information network and system from the unauthorized access use and disclosure disruptions modifications and this include measures such as firewall encryptions and antivirus here in this chapter we are going to learn about what is cyber security different branches of cyber security cyber security attack unauthorized access information threat information cyber kill chain terminology cyber crime and the types of different different cyber security job roles and also certifications now the third part here you can see is network security now dear students here we are going to learn about the fundamental part which is network now to understand network security we first need to grasp the basic of computer networking like the osi models open system interconnections tcp ip uh, which is known as uh, transmissions control protocol and internet protocols models and these are fundamental frameworks that help us to comprehend like how the data is transmitted over a network and then explaining some subtopics like the ip address types of ip address networking devices networking topologies proxy setting and vpn so from here we'll start with the practical part now the next we have is linux foundations you know in hacking we use multiple different different linux operating system like the kali linux pat operating system meta exploitable 2 and lots of debian version so here we will learn about overview of linux architectures and introductions to linux distributions introductions to kali linux operating system and creating the virtual lab in our system and then overview of some common shell commands introductions to the system file shell scripting networking all this kind of things so let me show you some lab which already i have installed from my side so in this lab you can see we have this kali linux now the current version of this kali linux is 2025.2 and every year they release a four different version of these things now This Kali Linux is a special distro designed for cyber security and penetration testing, and it is like a toolkit for security professionals. And creating a virtual lab allow you to practice the security skills in a safe, isolated environment, just like a surgeon practices surgery in a simulated environment. By default, the username and the password of these things is Kali and Kali. So here. you can see like we have multiple different resources tools even this kali linux also allow us to install the third party applications like through the other repository like github and multiple kind of activities you can do like footprinting enumerations reconnaissance penetration testing vulnerability assessment wireless attack web application security attack like this now we'll start with the very stretch part and one by one we'll complete the advanced portions in this tutorial style the other thing here you can see is about system hacking and security now the system hacking and security means here you will understand about unauthorized access or manipulations of the computer system network and data and security on the other hand involves protecting this system and data from such attack and this topic covers the various techniques used by hacker their implementations of security and strategies for protecting the system against this attack and here the key topics covered as what is encryption and decryption where encryption is a process of converting plain text into the coded format to protect it from the unauthorized access whereas the decryption is the reverse process converting the cipher text back to its original form and then learning about the sam security bypassing the windows password decrypting the windows password 
using some tools for breaking the window security system which is exploitations so in summary this system hacking and security is about understanding the technique used by hackers like it and learning to how to protect the system and then we have the other part which is cryptography now if we talk about the cryptography although it is a practical sessions here we'll focus on like a, the techniques which are used to protect the informations from unauthorized access and it involves converting the plain text means the readable data into the cipher text means unreadable data using an algorithm and a key here we will also cover the latest topic which is stacknography or stack nanography which is you can say different approaches to hiding the informations so instead of encrypting the data the stacknography conceals with the existence of the message itself like for example imagine you want to send a secret message to your friend but you don't want anyone else to know that you are sending a message and this can hide the message within a image or a text file and this way if someone intercepts the file they won't suspect that it can contain a hidden message so in summary this cryptography is a powerful tools for protecting informations and it involves techniques like encryptions decryptions then stacknography and by understanding this concept you can appreciate the importance of secure communications and data protections in today's digital world the next is the part of footprinting which is a say simple examples of google docking or sometimes it is known as google hacking now here in this sections this involves using some specialized search queries to uncover informations that is not easily accessible through the regular search queries and it is like having a super power that help you to dig deeper into the internet so here we will do the practical part learning about some research data gathering informations and the next part is also very important which is about web application security penetration testing and vulnerability assessment now this is also the practical part here we will understand about introductions to web applications the client interface and the structure means think of this web applications like a bank the client is a consumer and the interface is the bank's website or mobile app and the structure refer to how the bank system are organized just as a bank need to secure its vaults and consumer data a web applications needs to protect its informations and ensure its architectures is robust here we will cover some demo examples like web applications vulnerabilities or web top 10 which is a top 10 list of the most critical web application security risk and it includes issues like broken access control cryptographic failures injections attack like this and we will also set up the lab to do these activities like dwwa we will learn about dos and ddos attack and mitigations and information gathering on web applications then we will use some of the latest and very famous tools like bugsuit nicto for the web application security testing and all these things help us to identify the vulnerabilities and understand like how the data flows through the application and there is some technical vulnerabilities which we will also go through like sql injections dicky traversal lfi rfi then sql injections blind sql injections csrf cross site scripting like this and then we have the ninth chapter which is about wifi hacking and security means here if we talk about this lesson so this topic focus on understanding and testing the wifi network security using the kali linux operating system and a wifi receiver here we will go through like scanning of the wifi network manually method to hack a wifi automatic method to hack a wifi signals and how to secure the wifi network and you will get a major project 
so major project you will get assignment time by time some quizzes pdfs everything from our site